Hi Liz and everyone with JP Painting, this is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm just gonna briefly go over a couple of things we can do with your guys' website, get it updated, start making the internet work better for you guys. So let's get started. Um, we're gonna hit on just three things today, um, content, backlinks and citations. So I've got your website up here. I like your logo right up here at the top. I see your phone number here. I would suggest moving that over here, making it big, making it easier for clients to click on right away. Next, maybe we want to get a call to action put in here, offering free estimates or anything like that. Um, get that right up here at the top, get in contact with us, fill out this form, something along those lines. As we scroll further down on your website, you've got this weird like little blank area. We definitely want to get rid of that. And we want to move our services up here towards the top. Now in addition, what we want is we want to add some more pages to this website. So our drywall finishing, our painting, our wall covering, all of these should have their own individual pages that these will link to. So if I click on drywall finishing, it's going to take me to a page under services specifically about this and it's going to give me lots of great information here and the same thing for these two and any other services you guys offer you want to have separate pages for all of those in addition you want to have separate pages for your about area your contact you can even do a separate page for your staff stuff separate page for your portfolio as well I do like that you have a little bit about you on this home page. I also think it's incredible that you are a woman owned business. There's really not that many of them out there and it makes a huge difference. Um, seeing women owned business, it makes a big difference for our daughters, especially mine. Um, I always tell her when I discover a woman owned business, it's just cool. Um, so anyways, Coming down here a little bit about the portfolios and stuff. Definitely, if you guys have reviews that you can get added to those homepage, this homepage, some testimonials, get those too. Um, I know that you're hosted by Wix here. Wix is becoming a little bit outdated, and there are some other options that are easier to navigate and update, and they look very nice. Um, so we definitely want to get that updated here. In addition, when you save these images before you upload them, save these as buyer intent keywords. And the reason for that is what Google's really looking for on this home page is the content. And they want you sitting at about 1500 to 2000 words of quality content on this home page. Now, in addition to that content, they want those buyer intent keywords sprinkled organically throughout it. And so some of those int buyer intent keywords can be things like painter Dallas, um, Dallas home painter, painters Dallas, Dallas painters, um, etc. It goes on. And so you can save this image as painters Dallas, painter Dallas, Dallas home painters, those kinds of things. Because when people are searching through Google for your services, Google sends crawlers through your websites to see if you have um, those keywords that are matching what those people are searching for. So we definitely want to get you um, ranking up higher for that with those keywords. Now the next thing that we're going to hit on is those backlinks, which we kind of talked about. Backlinks are just a shout out from another website that lets Google know that you're trustworthy and relevant. And so the tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Arifs. This is a paid tool. You don't have to use it. There are plenty of other tools out there. And so what you have to remember with backlinks is not all backlinks are created equal. And so what we're looking at here is this UR and this DR rating. Obviously, we want these numbers to be much higher and you always want them to be pretty close to each other. Now, the UR is your trust rating. The DR is your power rating. These are influenced by your backlinks. And the backlinks will just come from the referring domains. As we can see at this time, you guys don't seem to have any organic keywords on your homepage. So your website's not ranking for anything. Now I did go ahead and put one of the top competitors in your area in this Dallas Paints. Um, as we can see their UR and DR rating is higher and it's pretty close. So they've got quite a few backlinks over 3000 and they're coming from over a thousand referring domains. Now, as we can see, we've got their organic keywords here over 8,000. So you can come in here um, and you can scroll. And what we're searching for is buyer intent keywords. So why do painters wear white? Not a buyer intent keyword, not really a word that you're going to want to rank for because this is just someone searching for an answer to a question in Google. It's not necessarily someone searching for your services. So what we're looking for 
are things like Dallas Painter, Dallas Painting Company. So as we can see, we've got 150 people at least a month searching for that. This is something you want to be ranking for when people are searching for painting companies in your area. We want you to pop up as one of those companies. Okay, so when we increase the content and the keywords and get some quality relevant backlinks pointing to your website, you're going to start to rank down here in this organic section. And the first, second, or third position is where we want to be ranking. Now the last thing that we're going to touch on here is this area right here called the local map pack or Google My Business. You're probably familiar with it. It gets the most traffic. If you're out traveling, if you're out looking for something, you're going to Google it. Whoever shows up here is most likely going to be where you go because this lets us know that these guys are trustworthy, these guys are relevant, these are places that we want to go. So we want to be ranking up here in this area for sure. Now how we get here is by having a Google business profile. You want to have it filled out completely. So your business's name, address, phone number, hours. Um, and then in addition, we want to have pictures. You want to have at least 25 pictures. And it looks like you guys have a ton to choose from for your portfolio. So make sure those are geotagged properly. Make sure you're saving them as those buyer intent keywords before you upload them. We want to make sure that you guys have reviews. So if you guys aren't asking your clients for reviews, make sure you're asking them to give you reviews on those pages on your services. And then lastly, you want to have your citation out there. So a citation is your business's name, address, phone number, listed in a directory. The directories just include things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, Home Advisor, stuff like that. So what I would do is find out where my top competitors are listed with their citation, get myself listed in those exact same directories, and then I go above and beyond that. So if they're in 150, I'm going to get myself into 200, 250, 300, maybe really just blow them out of the water. All right, Liz, that's all I've got for you today. I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback on this. Thanks.